Divine Nurture friends, welcome back to another video. I'm glad that you came back to another video. So, anywho, um, I feel like changing my environment, which I do quite often because we're here in one to two rooms, right? So, I do this quite often to keep it interesting, not only for me and my assistant, but for the kids. For the kids, because I love the kids. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm a little extra. That's how it is when you work with kids all the time, right? Especially the little people, because if you can't keep their attention, then they somewhere else, right? So I wanted to come to you with this video and just watch me label. So I changed some things around, not much at all, but often I switch out my toys because they get bored playing with the same stuff sometimes. And I have 50 million toys because I got a problem of shopping for kid toys, right? So um, I did recently go shopping again. Yeah. yeah, I did. So I got some new stuff on the floor. And I put some other toys out that it's brand new to them again, right? And so what I'm going to do is show you guys a cheap way of labeling your area, your blocks, all of that type of stuff, right? That's what I'm going to do. Do it with the cheap way. Catch y'all in a minute. Enjoy the video. Peace. Oh, I forgot. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to share and go back and look at all my other stuff. All my other stuff. Love you guys. See you later. Searching through the book, this is the cheap way to do labeling in your center, your daycare, or even if you wanted to do it for your kid's room and you're trying to teach them how to put things back in the places they belong. Um, a lot of people are visual and a lot of kids specifically are visual because they are learning language. So during this time, I had went through all the books, found the pictures of the toys that I have and duplicate and duplicated them. <laughs> Anywho, so now I'm moving on to labeling um, and I just did it with tape. So I didn't go through the process of laminating all the pictures and things like that because I did it a cheap way. I didn't go through the process of making it more expensive than what it needed to be. And I just used heavy duty packing tape to laminate the pictures on the shelf and the bucket. And I went through the whole room and did this. There will be a couple of things I didn't have pictures from because, um, if you don't know, when you get catalogs, they usually only advertise the most relevant items. So I have some old items that I will have to go on the website to get rather than in the catalog. 
So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. redecorating everything but as far as what this video is about here is all of the labels and as you can see underneath um it's mainly all picture labels too because there's a couple things i need to find labels for but um excuse my science area waiting for these to come in the mail then got puppets over here blocks I had to get creative with this one because it was a big picture of all of them together but I decided to sort them out because um, it's just better for the kids and these I'm also I have traced them all and I'm laminating them so they can put them back specifically rather than stuffing them in a big bucket, as well as these two. Writing in art area. And over here, home living center. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later.